What's up, YouTube? It's Savannah and John, and we have another unboxing for you today. I'm so excited. We just got the Alienware Alpha gaming console. Savannah couldn't even believe this was a computer when we were in the store. So I know, seriously, it's like smaller than the Xbox. I am so intrigued to see how this works. So we got a really good deal on it. It was $400 at Fry's, and I see it also go down to $400 at Best Buy and other places at times. So you get uh, the Intel i3 processor, it has hyper-threading. You get a 500 gigabyte, 5400 RPM hard drive. You get four gigs of RAM, and you get the NVIDIA 860M two gigabyte video card, which is comparable to the 750Ti, so, and Windows 8.1. So it's a, it's a pretty good deal for $400, and an Xbox controller. So if you factor all that in, it's actually a pretty good deal, um, which is in contrast to some of of the other Alienware products. All right, well, without further ado, let's unbox let's this. Let's unbox this. <laughs> All right, so I'm we got so our keys. Excited. <gasps> it's so tiny, it's so cute. Yeah, it's like, oh, and it has, it comes with an HDMI cord too. So we're super stoked. Yeah, yeah Savannah's gonna use this as a computer and we're gonna play all our Steam games on it because it has the Steam OS. So we can play all our games with on the big TV with a controller and then we can also use it as a PC. Okay, let's unbox this. So I'm gonna cut, cut this tape here. What happened to the knife? <laughs> no knife today. I'm really bad with knife. Are, I was, my fans yeah, the you're, 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 you're swinging it everywhere, like I'm almost sorry. cut my head off. Okay, awesome. So, so here we have the power supply. So, um, you know, without actually having measurements, it's not that big. I don't really have big hands, and it's you know, it's it's really not. Um, it's smaller than I expected. Here. Pretty small, as you can see, um, which is really good because this leaves a really small footprint. It's like a, a thing of coal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've been naughty this year. And we have okay. Here, telling you about the the controllers. Alienware always has really nice packaging. That's something I've, I've always noticed with all of their. And we have um, okay. I'm just gonna leave this here. I think this is a like installation CD. I don't want to. It comes with a bracelet. <laughs> comes with a bracelet. Yes. So you always have it with you. All right, we have some uh, silica gel. This is, this is, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, and we have, um, let's see. This is the H HDMI, two HDMI uh, cord, which is great. Um, this is another thing for the, the charger. I think, I think it's for the charger. Um, yeah, the charger, so you plug this in here, plug into the wall, that obviously plugs into uh, the Alienware Alpha. And it has a cool, this I think lights up blue or red, which is similar to a, an Alienware laptop I have, so they use you know similar chargers that look cool. And let's see, without destroying this. Oh, here it is. Check so this out. Tiny. Look how small it is. It's like for a poly pocket. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Don't let me hold it. I feel like I'm gonna break it. Oh my, let me take it up here. All right, so you can see, looks like we got two USB 3.0 ports, the power button, which is the cool alien logo. See, it has Windows 8.1 and the Intel i3 processor. And here on the back, it has two HDMI uh, outlets, um, Ethernet port, and two more USB ports. Okay, there's so many buttons. And we got a controller. So I think these are like 40 bucks if you buy them, uh, uh, you know, separately. So it's, you know, it's a, it's a really good value of $400, everything all together. And then we have here a, okay, Microsoft Xbox wireless receiver for Windows. That's great. Two batteries for the controller. This is really why we bought this system, is the Duracell batteries. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, it's good. you get batteries, so that's awesome. And let's see what else we got here. And so another CD, the Xbox accessories. So yeah, overall really great packaging, and you know, not a lot of stuff, which is great, because it, you know, it leaves a really small footprint. It's as big as a Lunchable. It's as big as a Lunchable. So we want to, one one thing I'd recommend is the, the four four gigs of RAM I think is kind of is kind of lacking for 2015, but you can add four gigs of uh, I think it's DDR3 laptop memory uh, for like thirty twenty five dollars because it has it has two DIMMs in there so you could just add another four gigs and have and have eight gigs of RAM so so that would be one of the upgrades I would do and a lot of people I see on YouTube are actually upgrading to a solid state drive 
which is again is another really easy upgrade to do. You need the point uh, seven. You need a seven millimeter uh, SSD because it, it, it's you know it's pretty it's pretty compact in there. A lot of people have done comparisons to the PS4 and the Xbox One, and this does a great job. And it's you know it's not much more than a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox, but you also get Windows and you get a whole operating system. So you get a whole computer and you get a whole uh, console. So it's awesome. It's like you know PC and console. So that's pretty freaking sweet. So they shrunk it. I shrunk the <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just entered in all the information it needs. Get this booted up for the first time. I like the ACs. Yeah, mm -hmm. monitors. Yeah, that's nice. It's like a perfect size. You could put all the skills you want right there. Yeah. And they'll never roll <laughs> away. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was talking about important stuff. And there's my alien. Oh, okay, cool. So here's, you can do console mode or desktop mode. Mm. So, right. So, I'm kind of interested to see, I want to see what console mode looks like, actually. Um, You're a daredevil. Okay, let's just do desktop. Ooh. It morphed into a bigger alien. So you just start, it's like, it's really, I like it. It's just. Alright, guys, so we're playing Tomb Raider now. Just, uh, some anecdotal evidence of how the 860M or the Alienware Alpha um, handles this, this type of game. Uh, definitely we want to play a lot more games on this, but this is just the first one we want to try because this is the game we are currently playing. So as you can see, we're getting around 60 frames per second when nothing's like too graphically intensive and it, it dips down to like 40. Really 40 is about the lowest it'll go. Um, the settings right now are they're, they're 35, but it's, I think it's just because it's loading the uh, graphics interface. So I took uh, VSync off, and I have it um, texture quality high. I have the texture filter on 8x, normal hair quality, FXAA, anti-aliasing, shadows ultra, everything else high, depth of field ultra, SSAO ultra, post-processing post on. So if we move this down just a little bit, um, just not on ultra, just normal and high. Uh, let's see what we get here. So that's that's a that's a good like that's a good way to play. I mean that's like you know it's pretty good graphics, everything on high, a couple things on normal. Let's see what we get. Yeah, I mean now we're like 70, 70 frames per second, right around 60, 67, 71. I mean yeah, it doesn't really dip at all. I mean it's not really gonna dip below 60 frames per second. Uh, just high settings, which is pretty cool. I mean. So the 860M definitely hand, handles itself really well. I mean, it's comparable to the uh, 750 Ti. I mean, now we're like, yeah, 70 frames per second, 85 frames per second. So you can put the graphics a little up, uh, if, you know, if you like that, like 45, 50 frames per second uh, sweet spot. So overall, yeah, we're pretty we're pretty happy with the performance so far. The Intel i3 uh, paired with the 860M, and it only has four gigs of RAM, and it still, you know, still holds its own, you know, really well, which is, uh, you know, pretty sweet. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe.